What's up everybody, it's your boy Mel Morris. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's time to give out the SYAD of the week. The SYAD is the subject we do each and every Saturday where we tell the stupidest person of the week to... Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> and that's right. I got a new candidate for you today. Now, as we know, this video has been going viral all week long. I want to show it to you, anybody who hasn't seen it. Take a look. <laughs> it's the craziest lady in the world. Am I correct? I mean, everybody knows she's sitting in the back of the class. I mean, everybody knows she's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. And she know that as well. And right now, she ain't got no eyebrows. But listen, we've been telling the story wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We actually correlated this story to another story that's going on. Let's take a look. On Time Street, what is it? TireMeetsRoad.com. Actually, it's a story that says social media wrongly identified this woman as the arsonist in another viral case that happened 500 miles away. Y'all ain't going to believe this. Update and editor's note. July 24, 2020, an earlier version of this article included photos showing a burnt Jeep Grand Cherokee tied to a viral video. Those photos are from another arson incident that happened a day later in Maycomb County, Michigan. That's right. Your ears are not deceiving you. According to a City of Madison, Wisconsin incident report from earlier this week, July 21, 2020, Ex-girlfriend Kelly S. Hayes was arrested for car arson after witnesses to her arson work, no work noted and reported her getaway car license plate. Initial news reports from other blogs, ours included, ID this woman as the arson tied to a viral video showing another arson setting a Jeep Grand Cherokee on fire, gas vapors blowing up in her face. That arson incident in Harrison Charter Township, Michigan, was a separate incident entirely. Coincidentally enough, both, incident, both incidents happened within a day of each other with this Madison, Wisconsin arsonist mugshot. Without, <laughs> they run for this, without eyebrows posted below, <laughs> further fueling the misidentification. The arson is responsible for setting a great a Jeep Grand Cherokee on fire and having vapors blowing up in her face. According to the latest reports from Metro Detroit News, still has eyebrows. So the other girl got her eyebrows. She got out the way. But this chick does not in Madison, Wisconsin. And honestly, her eyebrows don't make much of a difference because she is ugly. But anyway, uh, in this Madison, Wisconsin incident, a former lover identified an ex-boyfriend Chevrolet Impala at the 2000 block of Greenway Cross. Using a baseball bat, Hayes allegedly smashed out the windows of the Impala, doused the car with gas, and set, set fire to the vehicle before driving off. The Chevrolet Impala was soon engulfed in flames, with the incident report stating this Impala as a total loss. According to the state of Wisconsin, Kelly is officially a felon. Arson of a car is a class one felony punishable by up to 3.5 years in prison, up to 10,000 years combination of both. 
I'm two thousand dollars combination of both. Guys, if you don't understand all the stuff I just read, this was two black women in back to back days that committed arson felon. Burn that man call up. Well actually the first lady, they ain't her man no more. It was her ex man. But the other lady was her man. A Jeep and an Apollo. So y'all been thinking this is one lady doing this in the fire. No, it was a totally different lady than the lady who got her eyebrows burnt off. This is crazy. And we know that. It's funny. It's ridiculous. And everybody's going to move on like it ain't nothing. But it's a bigger issue that I want to point out, of course. I'm Mel Omar. So I want to point out something a little deep. Remember a couple months ago when the, all the felony uh, protests and the looting and all the burning and all the buildings and all that stuff that was going down. Y'all remember all that stuff? I had a video that I said about all y'all going crazy about this stuff. But one thing I said in that video is all the burning and all the looting and all that stuff they were doing, it comes from feminine energy. It comes from feminine energy. And I pointed out in that video the the, uh, the scene in, in uh, the movie Waiting to Excel when Angela Bassett burnt up her man's car. I'm telling you, when women are done with you or, or you cheat on them or whatever the case may be, they want your life to be ruined. They don't want to move on. They just want your life to be over. I'm talking about they want something to be ruined. They want to, find, they want to see something burn. They just like the Joker. You know, some people just like to see the world burn. I'm telling y'all, it's a feminine energy. When men move on, we ready to just get away from that person. Black women and women in general just want to ruin life for you. They want something to hurt. They want something you got to, it takes years to recover from. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't believe me, but when do you see and hear about stories of men burning down anything? You tell me that. But I want to make this video real short as I can. As y'all can see, oh, you may can't tell. I'm actually in the hotel room on the road visiting my pops and his wife, having a good time with them. Listen, if you new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit me in the comment section if you have anything to say about this, about my stance about this being feminine energy. If you know of a time where a man did this, hit me in the comment section. And definitely hit the, like the video. Share this with somebody. I know we've got a lot of people talking about this, but a lot of people may not say this what I said and the way I said it. And a lot of people may not know this is two different incidents that's happened. So share this with somebody. So for these two ladies and anybody who agree with these two ladies, angry man, please tell these ladies what to do. Man, set your ass down.